Hey everyone, we're just glad to be with you. We're finally going to get this sabbatical update to you here online. Going to be a few pictures and Dredd will do most of the talking as if she always does. But anyhow, <laughs> we just, true. we, <laughs> we want to say, first of all, what a wonderful time it was. I can speak for both Dredd and myself that, um, it was a wonderful gift for us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we started the journey in, at 25 years and it took us only you know, seven however, about now seven more to get finally get it done but we got her done yes and uh we're already looking forward to the next one <laughs> <laughs> and but we it, are so thankful to the staff for what they did while wow. we were gone and our elders for making this possible it's just amazing yeah. it was just a delight yeah and i i i bet while some of you kind of kicked and screamed when you thought that we were going to be gone for three months i kind of bet it was probably good for you guys as well to, to, <laughs> you know, have us gone. So anyhow, uh, we're just going to kind of kick into this. I'll kind of just slide and let Dorette just kind of do some of the stuff on pictures and different things like that. So yeah, cool. Well, the first picture starts with us at Christmas time because that was right when we, we were going to go on sabbatical the first of um, January. And I, my last words on Facebook and Instagram were happy new decade. Peace out, sabbatical starts at midnight, <laughs> and it sure did, so that was fun. The scripture that I had in my heart for the whole time was Hebrews 4, 9 through 10, which talks about the special rest that God has for his people, and we just felt so honored and special to have a mm -hmm. rest like this. Yeah. It was great. So you can talk about what you did right at the first of the year. Well, we, we you know, so January 1st, we didn't leave and go on sabbatical. Um, I actually was in Florida. I'm finishing a, a doctor's degree. And so I was in Florida on the 31st of December and was there for a little over a week. And then once we got back, I was home for just a couple days. I don't even know. Yeah. And then we went for a month, almost a month in Europe, which was so yeah, fun. Yeah, it was cool. And I'll just kind of give you an overview of what we did there. We started in Zurich where my family lives and um, we stayed three wonderful days with my cousin and we went on a gondola and we did long walks in the woods and then we ate at the sweet little restaurant and just had a really good time. And then we got on the train. This is my, might be where you can take over. Yeah, we got on a train to, to Italy. And so we left from Zurich and uh, we went through, uh, Switzerland just finished a tunnel. It took them 10 years, I think, to do this tunnel, the longest tunnel of the world. Amazing. And the train we were on, we looked at our speed and it was unbelievable. We were- we were 148. I think miles an hour. Yeah. Not kilometers. It was yeah. unbelievable. It, so it was like, this is really cool. So then we made it through Milan. It's where we had lunch. And then we stopped in Rome and that's where we stayed at an Airbnb. And it was very close to the Vatican. Mm -hmm. It was right, right just around the corner from it. So we walked there every day that we were there, which was fun. Listen, every day we were in Europe, we walked on average because you know, iPhones and stuff capture that stuff. We walked seven and a half miles per day. On average, so Crazy. that's why we look so svelte as we come back. You know, <laughs> Whatever. I well, I wish. <laughs> we'd get back. What was so funny? We'd get back in in our hotel room or whatever. <laughs> Too tired. To we do. we would get back and we'd just sit down and go. <sighs> <sighs> it was and so we were in bed like at eight o'clock every night because we were just. Bushed. So we saw the Vatican, we saw the Basilica, we saw amazing museums, we saw the Sistine Chapel, Treve Fountain. Um, the Colosseum was really hard on me because I mm -hmm. knew about all those Christians that had given their life there. I, You stood and looked at this magnificent edifice, which was really amazing that it's still there after all those years. And my heart was just heavy and it was hard to be there, but it was such a cool thing to be able to experience that. And so so we're in Rome, which is an old city. We, you know, we, we went into multiple old churches that were just amazing. And so we thought that was old, you know, for us Americans, our, our America's not all that old comparatively. But then we got on an airplane and we went to like really old. We went to Athens, Greece, and that had to be uh, There's a couple places in Athens that just really caught my heart, my attention. Probably the coolest deal. I think you'll see the picture. I'm standing where the Apostle Paul preached on Mars Hill. And, uh, you know, he, he was able to just turn around and look at the Parthenon, look at the Areopagus and all of that. And it's just Acropolis. like... Acropolis. Well, that too. <laughs> and, and to be able to stand there and, and be a part of that history. So Rome was old. But, you know, uh, when we were in Athens, 
you know, that, that one building was built 4,000 BC. Mm. It was unbelievable. It just we saw some cool things there. We got to see the changing the guards, and in both Rome and Athens, we got to do a food tour, which was so much fun. We had yeah. a great time with that. And then we went on to Bulgaria, and in Bulgaria, we got to see Christo and his family, and we got to see um, Daniela and her husband and their new baby, and we got to dedicate him to the Lord, which was a really sweet thing. We spent almost a week in Bulgaria. It was wonderful to just hang out, do nothing, yep. and we had no schedule, so it, it was just really awesome. From there, we got on an airplane and flew to Vienna, Vienna Austria, and it was in, it, just side note, it was in Bulgaria that we found, heard the first thing about this thing called COVID-19. And I'll never forget seeing on CNN that there were seven cases worldwide. Seven. And then we went through Vienna and we took the train from Vienna back to Zurich and that was just glorious as well. Yeah, and Vienna was the funnest time for me. We, we, we had less than 24 hours in Vienna, but there was a lot of things we wanted to see. So we were pooped. I mean, by the time we got there, we'd walked so much, we were just pooped. So we rented these scooters. Uh, I don't know if scooter's the right word. It's not a motor scooter, but where you stand up and you used to Electric kick them. Electric scooter, and yeah. And that was the funnest thing in the whole world because we, we, we went 48 kilometers on these deals, you know. In two hours. Oh, it was, yeah. it was so, so fun. fun. So and then fun. when we got back to Zurich, we actually, you watched the Super Bowl, which was pretty fun. Got up in the middle of the <laughs> night all by myself and Durette's friend whose house we stayed at that I met before Durette and I were ever married. Yeah. Um, it was so sweet. I, I go out into the living room like three o'clock in the morning yeah. and she had a, she had a, uh, something to drink and she had a bag of potato chips and she had some <laughs> peanuts and it's like she tried to make this Super Bowl experience but it, so then I, I came and joined it for the last five minutes of the game which you know in football time is like 45 minutes and so I got to see the end of the game too which was yeah, fun. It was so fun. So then we came home and when we got home our water pump died and Ty and Heather Bean were coming to visit so praise God for getting that fixed quickly thanks to Steve Gilbert it was awesome and then the next trip we did we went to Arizona and yeah. that was my one dream thing that I wanted to do during the sabbatical was just to have the whole family together. And we found this beautiful place with a swimming pool on a lake and had a boat and it was just glorious, I think. It was. Um, we, there was a couple bonuses that happened while we were there. We got to have dinner with Jeremy and Morgan Carpenter and he came to minister. And then we got to see Macy Retia, who is just a sweetheart from our church here. And then um, we got to see my nephew and Danielle's cousin. So that was really fun. And then, we came back to Idaho, and then we went to ski in Nepal. And and Dred and I had so much fun. We just it was just Dred and I. We we were in stayed at her brother's cabin in McCall. and it was, so it was old school. It was just Dred and I, nobody else, nothing to do. We went we went skiing at uh, Brundage, and I'm telling you, heaven it. bent low and kissed the earth. We got caught in the middle of this. It was, it's probably one of my top five days ever in my life skiing, and I've done a lot of skiing. Huh. It was phenomenal. It was great. And one thing we did while we were up there is we had Swiss fondue, and we did that with Heather and Ty Bean when they were here as well. And then in Switzerland, we got to do yeah. Swiss fondue as well. It was awesome. Our last trip, let's go quickly talk about what, what we did in um, Hawaii. Yeah, we, we decided in Hawaii. that we could have gotten quarantined there. That would have been lovely. Yeah, <laughs> spent a couple weeks in Hawaii and uh, spent some time with friends that we hadn't seen for a while. And um, actually what's crazy is, is the last part of our trip in Hawaii, we were in uh, Waimea and we wore jackets. It was cold. We wake cold. up in the morning and it was chilly, okay. but it was so fun. I love the water. I loved it. I love to snorkel. I love to, wow, it was really wonderful. It was great. And then we got back it was strangely eerie coming home through all those weird airports with nobody in them. But then it was Lynn's 60th birthday and we had this wonderful party and I'm so thankful for the church wonderful. family that made that parade happen for him. That it was, was so much fun. The the birthday parade that uh, was a surprise for- Total me, surprise for you. Totally surprise for I mean, got me as, as good as you could get me. It was, it was so sweet. Yeah, and so then sweet. we had Good Friday service online, which was so different, so and weird. Easter Sunday, so different, and then we're just kind of getting back to normal, which is wonderful. We're so thankful that yeah. we get to see faces again. So the sabbatical started wonderful. It was everything that we hoped to be. The ending was just 
just different. Yeah. I'll, I'll just say that. It was just different. We were so looking forward to a blowout service on Easter Sunday, and it just wasn't that. Uh, we still rejoiced of, of our risen Savior, but it just is so it's, it's different. Get yeah. used to. Yeah. Well, we have a lot more notes we could talk about, but we just want to tell you again how wonderful it was to be able to do this. It was just a privilege, and we came back rested and refreshed and into a different world, which is we're all getting accustomed to, and I know you are too, but we know that God is still good. Mm -hmm. He's going to do great things, and we're excited about being back to just see what God does. It's yeah. awesome. Thanks. It was awesome. It really was. God bless you.